Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom at When I Feel Like It O'Clock. It's also Coffee O'Clock. It's always Coffee O'Clock. Maybe it's Beer O'Clock for you, Ralph. Is it, is it Beer O'Clock for you? I hope it is, and I hope you're enjoying it. Yummy, yummy beer. Um, I'm going to be doing NHL picks for you. Yes, and if you like doing NHL picks, I'll be doing for the 21st, the four games in the 21st. I'm sitting here sadly watching LA beating Anaheim 3 nothing. I I didn't realize they were putting Stolars in that. Don't like it when they do that. Hopefully we can still hold the under. We're not doing too bad. Anyways, I have a show from 3 to 5 called the NHL Pearls O Wisdom Show. And there we talk everything there is to do about hockey. And a whole bunch of people's come to the land, and we talk, and we talk, and we do picks. We do, uh, we talk about, we do each game. People say they're, who they, who they think they're going to win, what the score is going to be, and you get to uh, get points for that. You get five points if you nail the, the, uh, score and the team you get two points if you hit the score or the team and seven points if you add ot and if you win if you, if you get the if you get the team and the uh score right first of all we do the perlo dance everybody everybody does it it is so much fun they do they all do it especially jacket jacket is freaking killer up he can cut a serious good pearl of that, so let me tell you right now. <laughs> Anyways, we do that. Then we give uh, the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces and the uh, Ring O Pearlo, the bracelet. And whoever wins gets to dare me to do something for a month. So that's what we do there. That's the fine programming I give you on that. Five days a week, three to five. Also, if you'd like to get the picks I'm about to give you, seven days a week instead of five and also you don't have to watch the video because i send it to you directly to you it goes to your email and all that kind of stuff like that go into the uh, bio and you'll find yourself a patreon link hit it go to the 25 dollar tier i'll give it to you for free for the rest of this month and if you ask me i'll give you another month for free just to try it and then after that you just keep it but if you keep it all year round, forever and ever and ever, you'll never pay more. We've had it go up now twice in price. But anybody that started right from the beginning gets the first price. So 10 years from now, when it's a million dollars, you'll have it for 25 Okay. One million. Okay, you probably don't even know that. <laughs> Let's go to our picks. Nashville versus Chicago. Uh, I'm going to go Nashville here. I just think Chicago's tiring. Um, I really do. I know, I don't think they ever, as an organization, thought that they were going to win this year anyways. They're playing a lot of young players, seeing what they're like. I don't think they ever expected to do as well as they did even, but they're very happy that they did. But it's starting to fade. I think they're going to fade, and I think Nashville's going to keep on humming. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Duchesne does the rest of the way here. But I'll take Nashville on the money line. Yeah, I'm getting bad juice on the money line, although they are on the road. Um, and I'm going to go over. I think Subban's supposed to be in. Lankinen's starting to fall apart. The kid's starting to fall apart. And I don't blame him. Played a lot of games for his first year in the league. Uh, not something a young goaltender. There, there are very few young goaltenders that can play like that, like Patrick Waugh or something like that. But very few can play that as many minutes as Lincoln and has played this year and be successful all the way through. Minnesota versus Arizona. Uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with Minnesota here. I think I don't think I don't know if Kemper's quite right yet. He he wasn't supposed to be back here right already. I don't know why they're doing that if that's the case, by the way, because I know that no, I do know. 
Arizona needs to make the playoffs. They need playoff money bad. They're broke. But I think he might be coming back too soon, and he already has injuries a lot anyway. So, anyways, I'm going to lean Minnesota here, but I'm not going to go huge. I'm going to go on money line. Yeah, 171 on the money line with uh, – I'm going to go over. I'm going to bank that Kemper is not quite right. I'm going to go over on this because it's paying big too. 205. I won't be putting a lot on it though because Kemper can just rock it. And then it would be an under for sure. Vegas versus San Jose. I'm taking Vegas at home. Maybe even, you might want to puck line this for 191. Like, San Jose couldn't beat them when Vegas was on a back-to-back -back with travel. I don't see how they're going to beat them when they uh, did. Uh, here's the question, though. Is this the first game? Oh, that was the other thing about this. This is Arizona's first game home after a long road trip, too. Uh, let me see if this is Vegas's first game back on the long road trip. Uh, what is this? Oh, it could be actually. Why, why don't they have the dates here? How do I know what week it is? Okay, no, it's Wednesday, so let's go Vegas. No, it's not. It's their second game. That was their first game back from a long road trip on a back-to-back, -back, and San Jose couldn't beat them. Here they are on the Wednesday after they've got settled at home. Vegas is going to win that game all day. So, yeah, I'm going puck line. Vegas puck line, at least in reg, and I'll go over five and a half. They're just crushing it. Vegas is just crushing it right now. Nothing. They, they're they taking no mercy on anybody. So, yeah, if they can crush them, they will. Edmonton versus Montreal. Uh, Canadians. I'm leaning Edmonton here uh, because Smith is in net. I just don't trust Allen. Never have. He's, had, he's probably had one of his best years he's had in a long time, but that was basically earlier on when he wasn't playing all that much. But once you start playing him a lot, and he has been playing a lot since Price has been injured and now re-injured, went into a concussion protocol. So um, I'm going to lean Edmonton, but I'm not putting a lot on it because Montreal's got enough depth in their lower lines to really beat up this Edmonton team if they want to, if they can manage it, and if uh, Allen can stop enough pucks to do it. I'm just thinking that Allen probably won't. So I'm going um, Edmonton ML, and I'm probably going to go under. Um, again, Nugent Hopkins is out. Montreal's depth should really bother those other lines, but Smith has been playing very, very well, and that's another reason why I'm leaning to Edmonton here. I think Smith will stop enough. The Mon like Montreal might get two goals. It's probably a 3-2 game, and I think it's 6. So I'm not going to be huge on the under, and I'm probably not going to be huge on the line here. Also, I, I'm i an Edmonton Oilers fan. It's got to be the one of the most inconsistent teams you're ever going to find. So I don't like to put lots of money on Edmonton ever. Okay. That's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give today. Oh, no, it isn't. That is it for the picks. So anybody that just want to picks, talk to you tomorrow when I give you a bunch of other picks as well. But we're also going to talk about the games that we had tonight. So we'll go to those right now. Games that were happening on the 20th. 20th. Here we go. Uh, how did we do? Let's see how we did. This is disgusting that the Leafs lost to the Canucks 6-3. Seriously, we had the over to cover. 
quite a bit of our losses. Uh, the loss, we had the over here, so that was fine. Um, it was, uh, but we also had large pearls. So we're down about a unit and a half on that, but we covered it with a medium on the over. This, as long as it stays under, we're good. I don't know what I was thinking. I was gonna go Canucks or Kings, and then I was talking to a guy who convinced me that the Ducks could be able to PL. It's not his fault. I just convinced myself through him to do it. So I PL'd the Ducks. They could come back and score two here, but not looking too good. We do have the under though, and it's pretty much a wash. We had large on the Bruins. I loved the Bruins here. I did not think the Sabres were going to win. I know they were the sexy pick, but with Rask in net, I liked the shutout. I liked everything about this game. Under and uh, under and uh, for large pearls and Bruins for large pearls. So we large pearled the crap out of that. Made a lot. This one, disgusting. Uh, yeah, we had Penguins PL. They were up 6 nothing. I wasn't even paying attention to it. I was like, nailed it. Also had the over, which helped, but it was the over was for a smaller bet. So we lost some on that one. Um, sick, 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 up 6 nothing, and you don't PL it? Puck line it? Jeez. We had one on the Rangers and the under here. Wasn't good. Only a small bet, though, so. Wasn't very sure about that. The Islanders started scoring in this game, so watch out. Because when the Islanders start scoring, they can kick some butt. Took them a little while to get together with Palmieri. I got to see, did Palmieri score? No. Sajak? No. Probably got some assists there. Hurricanes versus the Lightning. We had the Hurricanes for large, and we had the under. So we did well on that one. No, we had the over. I'm sorry, we did have the over, but it was based on McElhaney starting, and they started Vasilevsky back-to-back, -back, so would not have bet that. So we just have the over, and that's it. That was actually my pick of the night. If McElhaney was in, I liked the over on that, and I'm sure it would have went over, but I don't think they're ever going to play McElhaney again. I don't know. Not against the Hurricanes, anyways. doesn't surprise me they didn't play it. And the thing with Cooper, the coach for Tampa Bay, is he waits to the last second to tell anybody who's going to be in. Uh, Panthers, we had this all day over. And we had the Panthers for large in regulation. Big. So we're up this week, day for sure. Uh, we had small on, I don't know, I went Red Wings PL. And I also went the under here. Uh so we lost a little bit there, but I didn't have all that much on it. I think I had two units or something like that. But the big plays pretty much came in, and the ones that didn't come in, we covered. So we're, we were up. And that's the big thing, being up every day. I'm not a huge gambler. Maybe if you are and you find these, what, my, what I tell you, you know, information I give you here, I, why would you listen to me? Well, first of all, I make money all the time. Every week, I don't lose money. And you can find that out. Go over to Patreon. You can see for yourself or talk to anybody that knows me. Second of all, I have watched, I watch a divorce-worthy amount of hockey. I study the game. I'm always in the game all the time. It's on my mind all the time, and I just have a knack for hockey. Uh, that's why, pretty much. So go check it out. And uh, thanks for commenters down there in the comment section. Getting more and more every day. I love that more than anything. More than the likes and subscribing and stuff like that. I love talking hockey. You got something to say down there? You're never going to sound stupid. There's no such thing. If you're talking hockey, you can't sound stupid. <laughs> That's the way I say it. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.